Let's try this larger bed mass question. We have negative 2, bracket means times, and we're going to work out this exponent question by squaring out the negative becomes a positive, and we have 3 squared, which is 9, over 4 squared, which is 16. Now we're adding negative 1 cubed. 3 negatives multiplied becomes a negative 1. And now we have a minus sign, and we have this giant bracket all squared. What's negative 2 to the 4 on the numerator? We have a negative number, and 2 to the, num 2 to the 4 is 16. Now the denominator is negative 2 cubed, which is negative 8. 2 negatives in the bracket becomes positive, and 16 divided by 8 is 2. So we work out exponents. 2 squared is 4. So let's clean this up here. Focusing on this part here, we have negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. Negative 18 divided by 16, we have negative 9 over 8. We have plus minus becomes minus, so we have minus 1. And we have minus 2 squared, or minus 4. And we now have minus 9 over 8, minus 5, or 5 over 1. Multiplying top and bottom by 8, we have 8 times 5 is 40. Negative 9 minus 40 is minus 49 over 8. Now to solve this equation, let's focus on the lowest base. When we look at numbers 25 and 125, let's think base 5. 5 squared is 25. And then as for 125, we have 5 cubed is 125. Exponent, bracket exponent, we multiply. So we have 5 to the 3k. The bases are the same, and so are the exponents. Same, 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 same. So 4 equals 3k. Thus, k equals 4 over 3. For this question, we see the same base 3 and a division sign. So let's subtract the exponents. We have 3 to the 10 minus x equals 3 to the x plus 1. The bases are the same, so so are the exponents. Same, 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 same. 10 minus x equals x plus 1. We'll throw this x over, so we have x plus x is 2x. And we'll throw this 1 over, so the positive 1 becomes a negative 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. Dividing both sides by 2, we have x equals 9 over 2. Let's try this challenge question. We have this first term here, and we have the inside of the brackets being a minus 3. Minus 3 cubed is minus 27, divided by 3 squared, which is 9. For the second term, we have something to the 1, which is just itself. So let's copy down the square bracket. And notice how this is a negative 3 to an even number. So this is essentially 3 to the 4. 3 to the 4 divided by 3 to the 3, subtracting the exponents, is 3 to the 1, or just 3. And here, anything to the 0 is just 1. We now have negative 27 over 9, which is negative 3, all squared. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And we have minus 3 plus 1. 9 minus 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Let's try one more challenge question. We have the same base, so we subtract exponents on the inside of this bracket. So we have 2. And let's work it out here on the side. What is the 
top exponent, 1 minus 2x, take away the bottom exponent, which is x plus 3. We have 1 minus 2x, and we're going to distribute this negative 1 here and here. So we have negative x minus 3. Negative 2x minus x is minus 3x, and 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So this here is a result of the exponents being subtracted. We have 2 to the minus 3x minus 2. We have this expression cubed all divided by 2. We have exponent bracket exponent. We're going to multiply these. So we have 2 to the negative 3x times 3 is minus 9x. Negative 2 times 3 is minus 6. And we're going to divide by 2 to the 1. We have the same base, so let's subtract exponents. The result is 2 to the minus 9x. When we subtract one more, it's not minus 6, it's now minus 7. So here is our simplified form.